Hey everybody, uh, I just got my uh, Novation Launch Key 61 and I was so stoked when I first plugged it in at all these awesome colors and then I plugged in the USB cord and dead. Um, now it's a MIDI device and when I went to use them, red, nothing but red, nothing but red. Uh, I found out soon that the the colors are linked to Ableton and the diff they the colors signify which different parts that you're sending and launching and everything with these buttons and I don't use Ableton I use Cubase but I still wanted to be able to use the colors uh, like if I want to play this live uh, at a show I think it'd be cool to have a little light show going on and uh, I just think it'd be cool but I use Cubase so I figured out how to do it folks and I'm gonna teach you right now so hold on to your where is it there it is Hold on to your attention spans, internet, because I'm going to teach you something. Uh, so, when, it, when you first load up Cubase, do, 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 do. Uh, I'm just going to do like a MIDI tracks sequencer, sure. Just a bunch of MIDI tracks. Uh, so, so, you should be getting MIDI signal, just like anything, but you won't be getting anything but reds at first. So, go up to Devices, go to Device Setup, and we're going to add, you should see the, the Launch Key MK, and you'll also have this one right here. Uh, hit the plus, go down to Mackie HUI, and yours will probably won't be defaulted to this, they'll probably say all or something, uh, but set it to these two. Set it to the MIDI in two and MIDI out two Launch Key MK 261, hit Apply, and... That's the first, what was this? Oh yeah, then go to MIDI port setup and under MIDI into launch key MK2, uh, set this in all MIDI to uncheck this box right here. I don't know why somebody told me to and I don't know why, but I'm telling you what they told me. <laughs> then hit okay. Uh, then you should have these little red lights down here on the keyboard. And these are the in control buttons. And what these do is these swap between whether or not you're controlling a MIDI instrument or the actual uh, UI, the user interface of the DAW. So a cool thing, way to test this is to bring up your mixer. And if you have any tracks, well, I do because I have 16 MIDI tracks, you now can use your faders on here to control the faders of your mixer, which is really cool. And then if you want to go back and forth, you can use this track button to go back and forth. And uh, and then also the uh, little knobs up top will now be the left and right balance of those channels. Pretty cool. And you can, of course, you can set these to other things inside the Cubase button. That's not, we're here, we're here to play with colors, yeah. So it doesn't matter if those are on or off. What does matter is you have, have yourself a little MIDI and uh, go to your first MIDI channel. Go, you go ahead and leave it all MIDI inputs, but change the second one to MIDI out two. That means that we're sending whatever we're having in back into these in control things. And now, if you play with it, uh, you'll still have red, but these the colors are linked to a different channel. So down, so we have it all MIDI inputs, MIDI out two, and then channel three. And when it's on channel three, we will be able to get different colors based on how hard, based on the velocity. So you can get kind of a cool rainbow effect. And I'll just show you a little, if you want to follow along or something, I'll do a little tutorial on how to make a cool little light show real fast. Uh, here we go. So what I'm going to do is turn on the click track and I'm going to make a little pat, I'm going to play a pattern on these. I'm going to record a pattern uh, really quick. And it's going to go like this. And I'm going to do it to the beat. Okay. So we've got, we've got our notes. I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard and quantize it. And then I'm gonna go in and actually edit the velocities. Ooh, why is that? Oh, okay, whatever. Um, 
So I'm going to bring up my velocity bar, make it a little more groovy. There they are. So, and then, when you move these velocities up and down, you can see the color of that note changing on your keyboard. So you can, and if you want, say like, oh, there's a nice little, uh, there's a nice green. You know this line is green, and if you go all the way across, you can make your whole light show green. Uh, but that's boring, who wants to just be green? Um, I'm gonna actually just do a bit of a random, you can plan all these colors out, but I'm just gonna do a bit of a random thing. And then if you set that to loop, and turn that click track off, turn that click track off, then you have a cool little light show going and it'll continue to play. Uh, a neat tool is the time sizing. Make, it, make that go a little faster. Make that loop and you have a cool little light show. But wait, there's more. Uh, something I like to do is duplicate the track and then I'll go back to normal sizing and I'll cut this puppy in half and make both of them play at once because you can have multiple channels being sent to the colors at the same time. And when that happens, you have two separate things. And if you, using that logic, if you would like to, you can have another one start at a different point and just have a different loop going like this. And look at that, three of the same loop all going in different directions. And you can even come in and say like, oh, okay, this one's only gonna be green. So look, there's the green one that stays green. Uh, just one cool thing you can do. Uh, another thing that you can do uh, to start and stop that, now that you have your in controls on, you can use these transport controls to start and stop Cubase there. And say if we wanted to do this at a live show, we can, ha the, we, uh, if we have a blue VST instrument open, say Moog modulator, sure. Uh, we can have, if we're playing live, we can have our lights going and still be able, and still be playing the Moog because the Moog, uh, because these go out to a separate MIDI device and a separate channel than the Moog does. So we could go play a live show and be like, hey, look at that. And if you are so savvy as to want to have different light shows for different, say that these were different, uh, if you want to have different light shows for different songs, you just move this over and say that's a different light show and here's another song with a different one. And uh, Yeah, anyway, uh, creating patterns is really fun and I've spent hours doing it and I hope this was helpful because when I first got this, uh, when I first got this keyboard, I couldn't find any information on the internet about how to play with the cool colors within Cubase. I could only find Ableton information, so I hope I helped you. I hope I helped you find a cool, fun way to play with colors. Uh, anyway, see you.